back into attacking game. Oh, that's just about a mark. It'll be to McClure. And McClure giving out by the signal to say he grabbed that. The familiar Mark McClure salute. And uh, Mark McClure only about uh, 25 to 30 metres out directly in front. A big chance to score their first goal for the match. And we're just over the three-minute mark of the first quarter. Pete said a very big crowd here today. I would say it's well over the 50,000 mark, approaching 60,000. Clue are taking plenty of time with this kick. Now he's got it. And that is a goal. That's the first goal of the match coming to Carl the three and a half. Too high, I would have thought Alvin's kick up towards half forward. And then playing in front is Kenny. He's right on the 50 metre line, or he will be when he takes the kick. Bankman and Kurt are hand in the square. And obviously pretty confident that he can get this kick. He certainly should be able to just about get the distance. Kenny, 50 metres out. That's a goal. Carlton lead by six points. Kenny's first. Pulled back at centre field, a chance, but that's still again. He goes up, he dropped that mark. A difficult one, a good pick up that time uh, by uh, Meldrum. Meldrum out the ball. Topped off by Alvin, a beautiful knock out to Bradley. Another head pass to McClure. This could be his second goal as he shapes up and fires. It's a goal. So Carlton snaps the lead back again. Carlton moves on to three goals straight forward position. A good 70 metres out from goal. There's a lead coming up from Kenny, but Kernahan uh, anticipated better. But away from Langford as he fell to the ground. And he's got a chance now to make the scores level again. Another side kicking in behind up to this stage of the match. Well, we haven't played 14 minutes. We could have eight goals on the board if he That's right, Pete. It's been a good standard of football. Not many heavy clashes, but it looked pretty football on the crowd here, enjoying every moment of it. These two top sides, the could be the two uh, contenders for the flag in the grand final of 1986. Well, they're the two leading contenders at the moment, aren't they? There's the kick. Another one. That's another goal. So scores that level with Adam behind being scored. Four goals apiece. But he goes for pass up there to Kernahan, punched away by Langford. There's a go now as the ball comes out from McClure for Robertson. McClure will put this through for a goal. That's his third. And the Blues have hit the front. Has left a little bit to be desired till Barty brings the ball back. Ball back there to Dool. He's in front of Nunsel this time and takes the mark. Getting a little bit angry, uh, the flying doormat, because I don't blame him either, because uh, Dunstall's well on top. He's already kicked three goals. McClure flies, couldn't hold the mark. Accepted by Tuck. Over it goes from Abbott to Platt. Platt's kick is up there at uh, Brown at the back of Sylvania. A good shot on top of the neck. Picked up by Bernie Evans and a snapshot of goal. Green at the back goes the spoil. No, he doesn't! Great mark, Glasgow. That was a good mark, Pete, because... Green was all over the top and he did everything to get the ball away from him but still couldn't knock it away. That was a fine effort by Glasgow. Had to go for it for the second time but he grabbed it. And he just didn't knock it away far enough. Green was a little bit off balance when the ball came down and Glasgow should have no trouble and once again bringing up two flags. Eight possessions so far for David Glasgow. He made his debut a few years ago now at a night game at BFL Park. That's a goal. Carlton is well on target today, aren't they? There they are. That's got first goal and the score. Too short for them. Bradley gains his composure quickly. Has a snapshot at goal. Won't quite make the distance. Johnson! Oh, what a mark! Oh, that was a great mark. Great that, grab! He was off balance completely. Had to throw himself side. That was a magnificent mark taken there by uh, Johnson, who's been a pretty handy player today. He's had about eight possessions. And that was not bad for a half-forward flanker. First goal to Wayne Johnston. He should get at the 27-minute mark of the quarter. Great mark. Carlton's already in front by two points. He runs around, shoots, goal. Johnson's first. Carlton, Carlton getting it out of the centre and looking real hot stuff at the moment. McClure in front, Langford at the back. Oh, what a mark to Bradley. Great move by Robert Wells to put him down there. And that was a screamer. Carlton looking brilliant at the moment. And he is only 20 metres out from goal directly in front. Well, he threw himself on over the pack that time, and that's Bradley at his best. He was beaten in the centre, but they moved him down to the forward line, and he's been a huge success. Carlton's biggest break of the day. Bradley's second goal. 28 and a half minutes into the second quarter, and why shouldn't they congratulate him? Because he is really to straighten up. He's had a good run, this little fellow, as he goes and kicked the dust. He's got the city, but Harms is there. That's a strong one. 
Dunstall kicked three goals in the first quarter, but since then, Dill's held him pretty well. Kicked by uh, Harms, is out there looking for Matt. Tapped the couldn't mark that. It's on the boundary line, goes back to McCarthy. Snapped it up pretty well as he shoots it up towards Dunstall and Dean again does. Time it. It's uh, Dill, I should say, and Dill got the mark. Short pass by 22 points. Waiting on Harms. 17 minutes gone. Well, it's been a very pretty game and a very exciting game, but there's been no heavy work at all. They've played pretty wide of each other, all players. Been like a nice game of basketball as the ball goes up there, and Kenny's got it. He's played well there. Played very well down there at the, at the floor. That's a shocking kick we spoke too quickly. In Loveridge goes, kicked off the ground by Kenny, trying to uh, correct his mistake. Blackwell, brilliant play. Over it goes to Bradley, and look at him go. He'll go right round past the 50-metre mark and let play at the goals. That's a long shot. And what a goal! Well, it makes the difference, 16 points. That goal should revitalise. They got me going. Bradley again. Here he goes. Can he make it another one? McClure in the square. Got it! Oh, Carlton finishing all over Hawthorne. That was all done by Brett, uh, Buckley too, Pete. There was a lot of guts to get that ball out. McClure. I keep on repeating this. I'd leave him on the ground all the time. They've had him on and off, particularly in the first half. He just shows the courage that the side needs. Yeah, but... Bradley had oh, the class been brilliant. That was a brilliant play. So Mark McClure will never get an easier shot at goal. This will be his fourth, and the difference will be eight points. Which it is. Seven big league scoreboard. Hawthorne, 15-17, 1-1-3. Carlton, 15-13, 1-0-3. I must say, we've had a great weekend of football, Pete. That was a great match up there in Sydney. Then we had the big one between Collingwood and...